What's going on everyone? Rabbit here with the Rabbit Mining YouTube channel. It sounds like a lot of you are utilizing Monero Ocean to maximize them CPU mining profits, but in the process, you're getting paid out in XMR, but you still want to utilize Raptorium Smart Nodes for that nice passive income on your weekly payouts, and you're not sure how to convert it. So here I am going to show you how to convert your XMR over to Raptorium for a Raptorium Smart Node. So first thing we are going to have to do is we're going to have to find the proper pairings to do this in the least amount of transactions possible. So what do I mean by this? The optimal way to do this would obviously just to be going from XMR straight over into RTM. But I do not know of an exchange that does this. So for this test, I will be utilizing Trade Ogre. And Trade Ogre does have an XMR to BTC pairing. And then from there, they also have a BTC to Raptorium pairing. So we can stay on the same platform. All we're going to have to do is initially transfer XMR into Trade Ogre, swap that to BTC, and then from there, take that BTC and buy ourselves some Raptorium and then move it over to our smart node. The very first thing you are gonna have to do when you come over the Trade Ogre, and that is make yourself an account. Now there's no strict timeline or you know type of rotation you need to do the next few steps, but next up, I recommend setting your actual withdrawal address. So by doing that, just click on your name in the top right corner. Once you do have your account made, hit balances then we're going to go to the top left over here we're going to go to settings and you are going to have to add your withdrawal address here so for myself i am going to be using my smart nodes onboarding address for this because we do want to put this into a raptorium smart node later on so we're just going to go down here we're going to look for raptorium so just hit an r here raptorium popped up right off the get-go there's raptorium take your wallet address and actually paste it in right here label it whatever you want i have mine labeled smart nodes onboarding but you can just put you know testing or trying or whatever right just put any name as long as you remember it once you do save your address depending if you have two-factor authentication or not it'll ask for that and then you'll have your address right here so we do have our withdrawal all set up ready to go so once we do do our trade we can just withdraw straight to our onboarding address which we already did just set up moving on to the next step or it could potentially be your second step depending which order you want to actually do this so we're going to go in we're going to go to our balances here and we can see monero we're going to scroll over to the right and we have a withdrawal which will take us to our withdrawal type of address if we have one set up for xmr ours is like i just said set up for raptorium so we're not going to have one but we do need to deposit our xmr here so if we just click on deposit we'll see an address pop up and this is the address we have to send our xmr to just going to click on this a couple times just to make sure right click and copy it to be sure as well i'm not sure if it auto copies but i always like to make sure so i right clicked i copied i'm going to bring up my exodus wallet we are going to send some uh some xmr over here so i'm going to send over right click here paste we're going to make sure this is the correct address here. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the right. It says WURN up top here. You can see WURN. And I always check the first four or the last and the last four. You can do the first five, whatever. But as long as the first four and the last four are usually the same, don't click anything in the middle or obviously that'll be messed up. And the first one is 8BS7 and 8BS7. Everything does line up. Now we're going to have to send some XMR. So first thing I am going to do, I'm going to send 0.5. I'm not sending all of it. We're doing a test here. So it looks like $121 in Canadian. I'm just going to hit the send button right now. It's going to confirm. Do you want to do this? 0.5 XMR, blah, yada, yada, yada. Yes, send. So it says it is sending now. We're going to wait a few seconds. It says success. Okay. Now we're just going to wait for it to actually appear on the exchange. Now, if you do see something like this, oh no, my XMR is gone, but it's telling me it can't be sent. Just take a look here. It is pending confirmation. You can click on the learn more if you really want to know. But pretty much just like anything on the blockchain, Ethereum, any coin, it does not matter. It does need confirmations in the mind block before it will literally be sent through the blockchain and end up in the exchange you are going to have to wait depending on the speed of the network that you're using a few minutes to five minutes and you know some coins do take upwards of an hour to send some are that long it's crazy but it just happens this one shouldn't take too long so we'll just get back once it does actually end up there so i did set my stopwatch just to kind of see how long it would take before i finally started seeing something and it was about one minute and 21 seconds and we can see up here we have a quantity of 0.5 xmr waiting it is still in status pending 
but you don't have to worry your funds are not lost because it is being sent here if we look up here we do we do see five of five confirmation status is successful so our monero xmr is now in the exchange do what you got to do get in get out as fast as you can because exchanges you don't want to keep any crypto there because something could happen and you could lose it it's just very very risky that's why it's also recommended to never mine to an exchange but here you can see it is successful so now if we actually go to our balances or anything so i'm just going to click on my uh, little icon again and go back monero is now the number one it's on top because it's based on your highest balance so now you can see at the very top we do have that if i want to check it again done and we can see everything's successful good to go exodus is still saying it's waiting for the confirmations but the exchange sees it and it's all good we're ready to roll so now we all, all we have to do is go back into our markets here we're going to find the btc to xmr pairing here you can see our available xmr is 0.5 and it doesn't look like we had any transaction fees in this process xmr is extremely cheap to send and depending on the wallet you use some of them use fees when you pull it out but it looks like exodus was you know pretty much free here because we sent 5.5 and we got 0.5 in the exchange one thing i do just want to check out here is exodus wallet does have its in exchange by itself if say you want to go to like litecoin or something i do like using litecoin because it's really fast and very cheap to send across for changing assets if you want to swap to something else later on in an exchange but let's just see what the fees are things that make things really really simple also cause a fee and uh, in the end long run you could be losing out money so let's just try to say say we wanted to convert that 0.5 into actual litecoin here you can see a dollar 121 canadian and a dollar 18 so we're already losing like three dollars just in transfer to litecoin right here and we saw the 0.5 did end up on the exchange so transferring it directly instead of swapping it to something in the actual wallet itself will save you on fees again depending on the coin that you are using i also want to point out from the initial a minute and 21 seconds or so that we sent it to we first seen it there to actually have it successful in the five confirmation that the actual exchange needed to see it it took an additional five minutes and 52 seconds for everything so about six and a half minutes and you will have everything from sent all the way to the exchange and confirm okay so now we actually have to sell our xmr and convert that into btc here so i believe when you are actually buying you use this side here the red zone and if you want to sell you use the green zone now i'm not really much of a trader i don't do this very often usually i mine it i hodl it do whatever i got to do with it and you know that's about it but right now for this purpose i'm pretty much learning as i go here just kind of show you guys what has to be done so let me know in the comments the best way to do this so that in the future i know what i'm doing a little bit better because again i'm not too familiar with this but when i do click on the red here you can see i end up and i go back into here 0.0019 now if i use the green side i do end up with slightly a little more sometimes so because it's a higher price on this side i'm potentially going to try to use that i guess and see what happens so i'm just going to click that right quick i'm going to make sure i have this and i'm going to hit the sell button we're gonna see what happens so i just sold it just says i sold it all so i guess we'll see what happens so it says i sold it and i should have btc so i do have btc now i'm gonna go back to my wallet we're gonna confirm this so i'm gonna go to balances and we're gonna go into btc so yes i do have 94 in btc now i think that's pretty much exactly what i did have so we'll find out so now we're at 94 dollars and 27 cents of usd worth of bitcoin so now we got to go to our pairing for raptorium and see how this works out now you just click on the market in the top left here and it brings up all your different parents and here you can see btc to rtm i'm just going to click on that and now we have btc we're going to be using this buy side and try to get ourselves some rtm so here we are in the btc to raptorium pairing and where we do have to buy our raptorium now you can see things are not going nearly as fast as the xmr btc pairing because obviously those are a lot popular coins the volume isn't that great here but we'll see what we can do remember if you, you do need the volume people do got to be buying for you to sell and people got to be selling for you to buy and it doesn't look like there's too too much action so we're just going to click on some stuff and see what it looks like i'm going to click here uh click on this and it looks like 3544 rtm i'm going to click here and convert it over 34 so obviously we're selling at a a little higher price a little lower price in raptorium which gives us a little more coins here 35.44 so i guess i'm gonna buy it at that and we're just gonna see what happens so i'm gonna hit the buy button 
And now I pretty much have to wait for that order to go through or I will not get, you know, my Raptorium. So now I'm kind of stuck in limbo here because I went for a little higher price than what it currently was. And unless the price goes up to that or someone puts in an order to actually purchase or sell their Raptorium for that, then I'm not going to get any because of the trade volume. So I should probably go for something lower. I can cancel this transaction. I'm just going to hit the X right here. It is gone. I should get my Raptorium back in a few minutes here. And my BTC is now back in my wallet. So we're going to pick something a little lower here, see what happens. So we're going to try this one. Click it. 34, whatever. Let's go buy. We'll see what happens. So we're going to wait and boom, it went through that fast because we did base it on a lower uh, price range so that people were actually trading at that value. We could have got away with the other one if I would have waited. Again, patience is usually better here. But again, we wanted to get through in and out as fast as possible and get this into a smart note. So we did end up with back in the wallet here. Looks like we're at about $91.08. Now I forget what my initial numbers were, but when it came down to trading fees and transfer and everything, we maybe lost throughout the whole complete process maybe 20 to 60 cents plus minus, you know, five or 10 cents here or there. So long term, you know, we hardly used any fees here in the process, directly transferring XMR over to Trade Ogre, swapping it to Bitcoin, swapping it to Raptorium. Now we do have to withdraw this and put it into our actual onboarding smart note address. So from our balances here, and it does look like it went up slightly while it's been here. So that's a good sign. We are going to withdraw this. We're going to pick our save smart noting onboarding address here. Pick the amount we do want to send. So I'm going to go 34, 80 point, I don't know, three, five, I guess. Leave a little bit for transaction fees. It does say 0 0.01 of a fee, which is a trade over fee. And I'm just going to withdraw right here. And it's asking, it is asking for my Google authentication code. So I will be right back once I put that in. I submitted my Google authenticator code and now it does say it's a pending transaction. So I'm just going to go load up my smart nodes. I'm going to start timing this right now. We'll come back to see how long it does take to transfer out of Trade Ogre and show up into the smart node. So on the Trade Ogre end, it does say successful now. And that only took about one minute and 20 seconds. Now I'm still waiting for it on the inode section. So while we're waiting for that to go through, I just want to point out kind of like the fees that went through. So XMR here, we did send 0 0.5, which works out to be $95.71 USD. And in Raptorium, which we finally got sent over from the trade and everything, 3,480.35 Raptorium coins works out to be $92.53. So about $2.50, a little over $2 here is what we paid within transaction fees and swapping over and then sending back and over to the node what we finally ended up with. So that's actually not too bad. And obviously if I was a better trader and I had more experience with this, I'd be able to cut those fees down a little bit more by picking proper prices on Trade Ogre itself. So I probably could have you know got a little bit more if i would have held out and sold it and got you know a bit more raptorium because of it but i just tried to get in and out as fast as we possibly could and it did lose about two dollars in the process which i don't think is too bad at all so i have been spamming that refresh button for a little while to see how long it would take and for a little while i mean four minutes and 25 seconds and our balance from raptorium is now loaded onto our inode smart address so it took full transaction from the send button over to hit the node four minutes and 25 seconds. All right, guys, so we fully swapped over XMR that we were getting from Monero Ocean over to Raptorium to utilize that for some passive income while using the Raptorium smart nodes and getting that payment every Sunday. So that is one way to do it, mining profitably in a different coin, swapping it over to whatever you do want, and then utilizing the smart nodes to keep your interest rate rolling in now keep in mind when picking an exchange i just went with trade over because it's nice and simple there's a few other exchanges i believe dex trade has a couple btc as well as raptorium pairings as well and everything does have different you know uh i guess transaction fees exchange fees and whatnot so do your own research try all these other coins again at the raptorium website is the exchanges that you can find that they do have supported so far and there's more and more coming as they grow so there you go. Do your own research. Use your own exchange. I showed you how to use Trade Ogre, XMR, Interraptorium, and then move it to your smart node. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.